So when you make your shield today, you need to make sure that you have crushed this enough that it looks like animal skin to you. If you think that it's crushed enough, you're going to draw on the ugly side, the side that has the writing. Put the bag on the table and take your plate, put the plate, can you see the plate? Can you stand up and look down at this plate? Okay, when I trace around the plate, I don't want it to be the exact size of the plate, I want it bigger. So I hold the plate in size, I mean in, in place, and when I draw the line, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done, it is a much bigger circle than my plate was. So I'm almost to the end, and I'm going to hold it up so you can see I drew on the ugly side, and I made the circle a lot bigger than the plate. Next, I'm going to cut it out. You're going to cut it out. <laughs> and I'm going to make a second circle. So with your paper plate, you're going to get a sheet of brown paper, and this brown paper is enough for four. So scoot yours all the way into the corner so that we can get four of them cut out of the same piece. Once you have scooted it into the corner, then you're going to trace this one to the actual size. So I'll hold this up when I'm done so you can see I did not make this one bigger like I did with the other one. So here we are. The exact size. This one is now also going to be cut out. Okay. <laughs> Take a moment to smile. Camera. <laughs> Nervous. You all don't speak because the camera will pick you up and I just want to get these directions out. Okay. So I've got my small circle, and the big circle is coming. Let me have it. Thanks for your help. I'll just finish it up. Okay. You got a big one, you got a little one, you got a plate. The plate is a shield, so the handle is going to go on the side you would eat on. So that when you hold your shield, it, it kind of goes around you a little bit with that lip. So this is the side the artwork will be on. This is the back. My artwork is going to be done on this. And I can see I still have an ugly side because it has black crayon showing. So I put the good side, the art side, down to the table. And I'm going to glue it to the bottom of the plate. So I'm going to put glue around the edge all the way around the edge, and then some of it in the middle. You don't need a lot. Okay, I'm going to take the plate and set it down on the bigger circle. It'll look like this. The next step is you're going to have to put glue then around that extra amount, and you're going to have to slowly go around the plate bending this over and gluing it down, bending it around the plate and gluing it down. Does glue stick immediately? No. no. That's what this other circle is for. Yeah, let me get this one. I'm going to put some glue on my small one and it's going to hold it down once I get this pressed down all the way around. Pressing it down. And you see how my hands can't even stretch big enough? That's what this one's for. I'm going to use this. Stick it underneath it. And then to hold it in place, you're going to sit on it. So I'm, I'm almost ready to sit on my plate. Get this last bit underneath here. And I get my chair ready. Yes. And why am I going to sit on it? So somebody, somebody will hold it all down. Something will, and it happens to be me. So I'm sitting on it, and that glue is getting both sides stuck together. 
it's a good idea to have something to work on while you're sitting on it. If you still need to do more drawings, you could have those out. Or if you're done with your drawings, you could get out your altered book and just sketch in it. And I'm going to hope that when I stand up, this isn't stuck to my rear end. I think it might be. No, it's not in the chair. No, it is in the chair. Yay! So one little bit didn't get stuck, so I can stick it under there and fix it. The last thing is, my name's gone now. So on this plate, that, this circle you put on the back, put your name so at the end of class we can stack them up. Thank you.